Hey guys, welcome back to Law Creations. Uh, just a quick video, going to cover a couple things. Uh, just going to cover a new a new uh, custom I did. It's it was a more of a repaint than anything, as opposed to a custom. I mean, it is a custom, but not a very difficult custom. And I got my package in today uh, from Marauders, and we'll open that up and we'll take a look at what's inside and my plans for the uh, the items that I purchased. In the background, you can see my di new diorama I've been working on being made out of uh, balsa wood for my executioner uh, custom I made. Just uh, just playing, on, playing around, trying to figure some things out. But it's just the start of it. Uh, I have a tendency to start something and not get back to it for a little while. But this is my newest custom. It's a Red Skull custom. And I think it came out okay. Uh, the uh, base body is a Destro. Uh, I don't know what year that particular Destro uh, came out. But a G.I. Joe Destro. Uh, the face on the Destro was pretty hideous. So, but that's it there. I don't know if you guys can see it. it kind of looks uh, a little, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. But I did have intentions on when I bought this figure to do a custom Red Skull. Because I, I like the jacket, the the suit that that it came with. And just did some painting on it. The head sculpt was a... Uh, it was a cast, so I had to paint it up, and I have a real tough time painting eyes. And I don't think those came out too, too bad, but uh, that's probably four tries at trying to get something that looked uh, halfway decent. But uh, I'm terrible with eyes, especially on this such a small scale. I mean, props to folks that can do it, and do it really well. I just, I don't have a steady enough hand to... Uh, to do a good eye, but that's not too bad considering. I'm okay with it. But the rest of the, uh, I don't want to really move the figure around too, too much because I just gave him a, I just coated him in a, in a gloss finish just so uh, his outfit looks more like a, a leather. And along with the boots. The boots I had painted red and I didn't particularly like how, how the, the boots looked red. So I just painted it black, back to being black, and I think it it looks much better with the uh, the outfit. But very simple custom. The only thing I I did was paint and obviously put the the head cast in. The uh, it's not attached via magnet. I just had to do some Dremel work, and then uh, then it attaches just just fine. So, but yeah, that's my newest custom, Red Skull. I like this particular look for him. He looks pretty cool uh, in his wardrobe. So that's that's the newest custom. So let's get cracking at the... Uh, let's take a look at... Let's do a little package opening here. Let's see what we got. I ordered this not too long ago. I live in Massachusetts, and this company is based in Mass. It's, uh, they do their shipping out of, I believe, Pittsfield, Mass. I think it is. Yeah. Pittsfield, Mass. So not, not too far from me. So I get my packages pretty quick, uh, which is nice. And, and they're really diligent on mailing, uh, quickly. As you can see, it comes, you know, nicely, nicely packaged. I got a lot of, uh, small odds and ends in this particular, uh, purchase. Just to finish up some, some customs, some, uh, some head sculpts and uh, just some trying out the new vests but uh, let's let's get opening and uh, we'll take a look at what's inside they always send free items and this whenever they tag the star here see these I did not order and that's these look really nice for uh, these I ordered it's just to finish up I got my silences here for my uh, custom hitman figure that I made. I, I can show that another time. I, I have to find a different head for that particular figure. If you hold on, I'll show it to you. <clears throat> but I've done a few of these over the years. It's just a men in black uh, 
Men in Black base body was a Will Smith, and obviously I made it into my own own little hitman. This briefcase is a Marauders as well. It opens, but uh, I, I like this this style. Uh, hitman was one of my favorite uh, video games when I was a kid. But uh, when I was a kid, when I was younger, but uh, yeah. So this is that's what these silences are for for this particular figure, and and just I got a sh nice shotgun, some different different ammo. And these are the free items right here. Two two free items: a helmet and like a satchel. Very nice. So this this is just to finish up some uh, customs. Over here, I got a, uh, a couple head sculpts. I believe one one or two of the lady sculpts here. She's gonna be on. I might do another Red Sonja version two style custom. That's, that's a boss fight studio base body for uh, females. And my plan is to attach this particular head. Let's take it out of the package. We'll use this particular head on. Uh, which is a really nice head sculpt if you guys can see that. I tried painting a woman's head before. And she ended up looking like a man, so now, now I just buy mine already paint, painted, and, and I'll leave that to the professionals. I know my limitations, so I know what I can do and what I can't do. And when I try to do something, I I'm pretty sure I can't. It usually looks pretty horrible, like painting a uh, painting a woman's face. Not 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 that great at that. But these are all just different odds and ends. Just a whole bunch of customs. I want to finish my Duke custom that I'm working on. So, uh, I got a whole bunch of accessories for him. And I will show that. Maybe tonight I'll show that because I do plan on finishing it tonight. Just uh, a gas mask here, which are, which are really nice. These are their new vests. At least they're new to me. This is the first time I've seen them. They're really nice. This is my uh, this is a uh, shotgun uh, sheath, so I can um, put the shotgun in there and it can hold uh, just different variations of different things. Some another pouch kit. These pouches are really nice. I'm gonna try to make a couple molds of these particular pouches and and cast my own in resin and see how it works out. But uh. I'll show you guys if, if it works out. But they're cheap enough to keep buying on the Marauders. But I have some mold, mold star that I want to use up. And this might be a good project for that. And I got a gun and gun holster and knife knife set. I don't know if you guys can see that. Without the shine. A lot of this stuff I purchased before. I got a nice nice belt. That I love because you can attach so much to these this style belt. This is a new new piece of armor I uh, I discovered on their site. I didn't know it was there. I want to make another Mandalorian figure, so this may be the route I'll be taking in regards to that. So we'll see how how it attaches and how it looks. And I'll get a painted Balcalva head, which which looks pretty cool. Not quite sure what I'm going to use that on yet, but it looks like everything's here. Uh, I, I did order some microphone headpieces, which I believe are here, and I did order these stickers here to go on my uh, to go on a couple of figures. I think those look pretty cool. The skull, the knife going through. I got some gas, like grenades, different grenades, grenades here, grenades here. And I got the loops, those loops right there attach these particular pieces. So uh, you can attach these to your figure and then the grenades attach to those loops, which gives it a cool look. But everything that I ordered is here, which is nice. And they're usually very good about, uh, about packing what you ordered. And if you receive something, which I have before, 
and they they rectify it pretty quick so which is nice but that's uh what i have going on new dio in the back my newest custom of uh of red skull here which is pretty cool which i really like a uh, future custom of maybe maybe another uh, female warrior maybe another red sanja which would be really cool uh with this this particular uh head sculpt these are nice uh cast but i i really i really dread painting my own uh my own face my own face sculpts i not a big fan so yeah stay tuned uh this is just different things I have going on. I have to work this weekend, so unfortunately I work 12-hour days and it's a rotating schedule. And when I'm in the middle of working, I don't get to get down here too, too often. So, But I'll try to keep my videos coming and, and keep posting and keep uh, keep busy with the hobby. And it, it, this, this stuff I love to do, I enjoy to do. It's a form of art, I consider between uh, customizing uh, action figures and and diorama making. It's definite form of art because you're taking your imagination and you're creating something. And your base bodies are like a blank piece of paper and then you just you just go ahead and uh, and just uh, create. So it, it, you're an artist. Either way, you're, you're drawing on paper or you're creating something uh, that's in your imagination. So... If you're an artist, you you know what it's like. You gotta you gotta keep your mind occupied. You gotta enjoy what you're doing and and have fun doing it. So this is my hobby. This is what I love to do. And uh, but yeah, this is what I've been up to, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, here's my uh, daredevil. My daredevil things I'm painting up. Uh, the aluminum really uh, painting aluminum is a very difficult. Thing, keeping the paint to stay on so I painted them and I mixed in some gloss varnish to try to give it that extra protection so these are drying up these uh these little clothespins I picked up at a doll store they're perfect for painting things and not getting your fingers all over them uh it's mostly where I get all my uh my storage supplies or whatever is the uh, doll store it's one of my favorite stores uh, for this particular hobby. Uh, you get get good stuff cheap. Obviously, you get it for a buck. All right, guys. So stay stay tuned for some more uh, more customs, more dioramas, and some as you can tell, some more rambling on. All right. So uh, you guys have a good night. Take care.